Hey, what's good with y'all collective? Welcome to the life of Scorpio Tarot. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to leave any donations, I will have a link in the description box below. So let's go ahead and see what's going on to the current energy for November of 2023. November of 2023, what's going on with the current energy for November of 2023? Hope y'all doing all right out there. So what do we have for the current energy for November of 2023, Holy Spirit? What do we have for the current energy for November of 2023? Current energy for November of 2023. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, some of you out there could be a Virgo. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. The Page of Pentacles, Virgo energy again, the Eight of Swords. Somebody's in their head about a situation here. Somebody is definitely in their head here and not taking any action because they're stuck in the, uh, some type of connection. <clears throat> they're definitely stuck in some type of connection here. That's what I'm getting judgment reversed. We have the Three of Cups reverse. We also have the Lover. I kind of felt that energy. This could be a Gemini for some of y'all. I'm getting that very heavily. Or somebody could have some type of Gemini. Could be a Gemini rising. Don't have to be. The high priestess, Pisces energy. So we have Gemini, Pisces energy very heavily. Oh, judgment card here in reverse. We have Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces energy very heavily. Knight of Cups. We also have the King of Swords reversed. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Hangman, Pisces energy again, King of Pentacles here. Okay, so what I'm getting here is, there is a very strong spiritual connection here with somebody. Some of y'all there, you could be a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Pisces, or uh, what's on the body? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. But some of y'all there could be a Pisces, a Gemini, a Scorpio. Or you could feel like you have some type of connection with one of these individuals right here if this is resonating with your situation. But I'm getting it. There's no communication that's going on between the two of you here. This individual may be stuck in a third party situation, and yet. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, some of these individuals out there are, if you anything like me and you have respect for yourself, you ain't going to tolerate no third-party bullshit whatsoever. I'm going to tell you that right now, right off the bat. Somebody could be dealing with somebody right here with the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands reverse. So someone could be dealing with somebody that may, don't, like, they don't know how to leave some type of connection here, but yet with the Six of Pentacles being in reverse here, this right here could be giving off the vibes that somebody is trying to treat you unfairly here. And this individual could be feeling like they're, they are also treating some type of connection unfairly because they feel something spiritual with you, with the high priestess. But there's also a Queen of Wands reverse type of situation that was doing something to try to keep two people apart here. But that's going to get stopped. That's what I'm getting. Somebody could be coming to you with some type of message here. So whoever this individual is, someone could be coming to you with some type of message as to tell you that um, they have been thinking about you a lot here with the Eight of Swords here. Somebody could have also been scamming this individual too here. So someone was definitely behind the scenes trying to scam this individual to make up lies about you. But at the same time, in the mix of this, they do have feelings for you. This individual knows intuitively who you are and they're trusting their intuition that they do indeed feel a legitimate connection with you they already know that this wasn't you behind if somebody was uh doing something with a fake account or whatnot this individual already knows that this wasn't you behind that fake account but i'm gonna tell you what's holding them back there's two situations here that's holding this individual back they don't know how to leave this type of third party situation here and i'm not really getting that this is somebody that's from the past and this is somebody that's new somebody could feel a strong spiritual connection with you here. You could be a Gemini or a Pisces, okay? 
Don't have to be heavy on the Pisces energy and Gemini. Very heavily with the Eight of Swords and the Lovers here. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. So whoever this individual is, they definitely cannot stop thinking about you. They do indeed have feelings for you with the Knight of Cups here. It's all about feelings. So this individual does have feelings for you. They can have a Scorpio moon. Because I'm looking at the Scorpio symbol with the moon. So this individual have a Scorpio moon. Something is telling me this individual is very intuitive, whoever this individual is. And you and this individual have not been speaking with a judgment reversed here. And this individual has some type of proof or whatnot with the page of Pentacles. So whoever this individual is here, they have some type of proof that you haven't been talking here. With the Six of Pentacles reversed, somebody could have gossiped to this individual. Whoever this individual is could have gossiped to this individual. And they're going to get caught in some type of third party with the three of cups reverse. I'm also getting a sense that whoever this individual is right here, they're trapped in some type of connection. A third party connection where they drink a lot, they party a lot. There's nothing but nasty rumors that's going on here with three of cups reverse. There is cheating going on too here with the Six of Pentacles reverse. So somebody that you have a strong spiritual connection with right here that you haven't communicated with before has been stuck in a situation relentlessly with another individual here. And there's cheating. I'm going to tell you that right now. Six of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Cups reverse. That's not your problem. I'm going to tell you how you handle a situation like this. You stay detached. You don't pull up with no third party situation and you stand your ground. You protect your energy with this four of pentacles here. You do not allow this in your energetic field of energy. You do not allow this in your spirit. I could care less if this individual feels a spiritual connection to you or not. This individual is going to treat you fairly here. You don't have to get angry with the individual. You don't have to go off or do none of that. It's not your job to take action towards this individual that feels an intense spiritual connection with you. And this could be a soulmate. This could also be a twin flame here with the lovers and a high priest. But something is telling me this is incredibly deep. And this individual hasn't been able to get you off their mind while being stuck in this situation right here, having a lot of doubt. So this individual could be doubting a connection, but this could be mirrored, though. The both of y'all could be doubting the connection. But I'm going to tell you right now, whoever the individual is that's single, that don't have anybody that they're dealing with in the background. So, so something is telling me this individual right here is dealing with some type of ex that don't know how to let them go. But that is not your problem. You sit there and protect your energy. But there's also another influence here with the Queen of Wands reverse. So there's two individuals that has had some type of negative influence on this connection from you both communicating with each other. So there's no communication going on here. But just like I told y'all, how to handle a situation like this, and number one, stay detached, stay logical about it, and you do not put up with any type of third-party situation. I could care less what it said about you or not. Rumors are rumors. Let somebody have the guts enough to actually step to you and, and get to know you on a personal level. That's how I'm addressing the situation. If somebody really does love you and care about you, see, you got to be detached from a situation like this because the minute you give an impulsive Emotional impulsive response or you try to argue with the situation. This right here is going to leave you feeling like what's the point in doing so? I'm going to tell you right now because that's an emotional impulsive response. You have to handle a situation like this logically. Okay. But with the King of Swords being in reverse here, it's all about not being rude about the situation. But you, you let your point well be made across as I say that you're not putting up with this with the Six of Pentacles reverse. So whoever this individual is here, they do indeed feel an intense connection with you. But that could be on both ends here with the lovers. So the both of y'all may be feeling something. You may be feeling like somebody is in your energy. I'm picking up very heavily. This can either be a soulmate or this could be a twin flame. So you're definitely picking up someone's energy. That's right here. But the individual, you and this individual are not speaking to each other because they have a lot of self-doubt. They have a lot of self-doubt about this third party that they're involved with, that there's cheating occurring, and they're stuck in that situation. But there's also another situation occurring 
to where somebody may be trying to manipulate some type of energy here behind the scenes. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, you don't believe in no energy. You don't even give it the time of day or the power to actually enter your mind. You don't allow any of this to affect your reality because I'm going to tell you right now, whoever the person is that's involved or stuck in a third party situation, they're going to have to come to grips with themselves and to free themselves. It's not up for you to save this individual. So if this individual does feel a strong, intense spiritual connection with you, they need to address it with the page of pentacles and cut this other individual off. Okay, tell them like it is, make up their damn mind and move on from them. Because I'm going to tell you right now, bro, if somebody knows that they can take advantage of you, they're not going to respect you. And, it, and it's also going to leave it to the point to where they're not going to love you either. But I'm getting the sense that this individual does respect you a lot. This is a silent, secretive connection. And you know what else I'm getting here? Whoever is involved with a third party that don't know how to make up their mind. Regardless if they feel this connection or not. So if something is telling me this individual does feel this connection. Okay, this cannot be denied. Somebody's intuition, somebody's intuitive abilities can feel it. They can sense it. And they do have genuine feelings for you here. And this could be an enlightened individual with the hangman energy. But with two of the masculines being here, somebody has their stuff together. This king of pentacles here has his or her. Could be a queen of pentacles too. So this individual right here has their stuff together while somebody right here on the flip side is a karmic. So there is definitely a karmic energy here on both ends. So someone is behind the scenes trying to manipulate energies here. And they have somebody that they're physically involved with. That is trying to keep them connected and stuck into this situation here. Look like to me, somebody still has an ex. This individual right here is on and off with an ex. And it's giving me the vibes of some type of friends with benefits type of situation. Clarify this Eight of Swords here. Yeah, the Eight of Cups here. You keep your back turned to the situation and you keep on remaining in your power. It's this individual's place to come toward you. It's not your place to move. That's what I'm giving the Eight of Swords here. They're the ones that are stuck in this situation and they ain't about to disrespect you like that. You stand your ground. You stand your ground because let me tell you something right now. I could care less about a connection like this. They have a soulmate out there. They have so many other people out there, bro. And I will gladly respect you. You have to have respect for yourself in order for you to catch other individuals' attention. If you're looking to be with somebody or you may not, some of you out there may not be looking to be with someone right now. But I'm going to tell you right now what makes you attractive in the spirit world and also physically because it has to manifest phys spiritually first before it does physically. What you do is you respect your spiritual side. You remain confident, strong, and have that strength in your morals and your integrity. And you walk away, bro. What say the cups here? You walk away and you don't turn back. You keep on moving on. It's this individual's place to reach out and to let you know. Because they're the ones that have been in their head and not really knowing how to make a decision with the judgment reversed here. And that's not your problem. And I'm also getting a sense this individual right here is betraying their intuition. Like, even though they're listening to their intuition, they're trying to have a spiritual connection with you. This individual is trying to have a spiritual connection with you while being tangled up with a third-party situation physically. That, in a sense, that, in a sense, in itself, is cheating. That's a spiritual law violation. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, you stand up to energies like this and you remain guarded. But at the same time, don't remain cruel. Don't don't be in this cruel type of energy, but yet remain secure. Secure yourself. Focus on your financial stability because I'm going to tell you right now, you can have some offers coming your way. And this individual could possibly see that secretly because they secretly been paying attention to you. And they have also been keeping it a secret that they feel this intense connection with you. But yet, this individual, this King of Swords versus this is someone that they have been involved with on and off with. This is giving me the vibes of a karmic ex here that they don't know how to fully let go. That they can't make up their mind about because they keep on hanging out with this individual. 
going out drinking, partying, etc. Kind of like dating, but not really. Because the, this individual could have another female involved. So it'd be like a man and them and another female is what I'm getting here. This right here, this individual is stuck in that situation. But just like I told y'all before, that's not your problem. You stand hard in your power. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro, this, this is what's going to get people to respect you here. So what else is going on with the situation? We have the Will of Fortune reverse and the Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's definitely some type of karmic energy that somebody is tangled up with. We have the Knight of Swords with the Five of Cups reversed. So yeah, someone could be mad at the fact that this person right here is trying to let this individual go. And they keep on telling this individual hateful stuff. So someone could be angry at the fact that somebody wants to move on right here. You want me to be honest with you? I'm going to be real with you. You want, me, you want me to be honest with you? Whose problem this is? It's not the individual that they're in a constant argument with. It's their problem to exit this type of connection here. Sound like to me this individual don't have a strong enough backbone to actually call it off with somebody. I care less if it's a female or not. Somebody needs to have some guts about themselves. As I say that, look, you ain't going to treat me like that. I'm ready to leave and I'm going to leave. That's exactly what I'm going to do. See you later. Or if you want my other part of my honesty, leave. Don't say nothing, just leave. Because you don't owe anybody an explanation whatsoever. Especially if you don't have a family with the individual. You know. You both are just girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever it is. Just get up and leave. It's only hard when you make it hard. Because there's no excuses up in my reality. Some of us out there live in reality. Ain't no excuses up in my reality. I'll tell it like it is me. It may ruffle some feathers, it may hurt some feelings, but I'm telling you right now, bro, it ain't my job to protect somebody's feelings from something that I see from a logical perspective here. Because this is the way people can easily be manipulated by manipulating somebody's feelings and emotions. No, that ain't about to happen here. Especially with some of you, I see things exactly for what they are. It's this individual's place to get out of this connection here. To stop entertaining this third-party situation and to, and to cut off contact because... This right here is a decision that they have to make with the judgment reverse, that they're refusing to do so. But something is telling me this individual right here knows that there's a spiritual connection that they feel with you. On a spiritual level, they can feel it on their end very heavily. This individual cannot stop thinking about you, even while they're with this individual right here. And doing all of this, they can't get you out of their head. And this could be agitating this individual. But there's also somebody else behind the scenes. I'm also getting, if this person, you could be a Pisces, or this could be a Pisces here. If they have a friend that's either a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here, this is not their friend. This is not their friend. This is definitely fake friends. So the person that they keep on, this is their karma though for betraying a connection like this. This is their karma. They're going to soon realize that an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that they have been hanging around could be a Leo right here with this Queen of Wands reverse. So this could be a Leo feminine that this individual may have as a friend with this Three of Cups reverse. They're going to find out. They could be getting hunches intuitively that whoever this individual is that they could have looked upon as a friend has been sleeping with the individual that they've been on and off with that they don't know how to let go of. 
with this king of swords reverse. That's their karma though, for not making up their damn mind and trusting that they have somebody better. Way better than this bullshit right here because I'm getting at the sense that this individual right here can't understand this individual mentally. Whoever this Pisces or Gemini is here, or it could be a Scorpio too, but whoever these individuals are right here, that's in this high priestess energy, it's way too mysterious for somebody like this to understand, but yet somebody on a spiritual level understands this person with the lover's card here. But I'm definitely getting with the Queen of Wands reversed and the Three of Cups reversed with the Six of Pentacles reversed and the King of Swords reversed. All of these being in a row uh, on top of this high priestess's head. Some of you out there could be a Pisces or this could be a, high, a Pisces that this could be happening to. And they could be getting intuitive hunches and downloads that their friend is not really their friend. Because it's not. A queen of wands reverses on top of this high priestess's head here. And this could have been somebody that they could have been hanging out with. Going to partying with, like partying with. This is a Leo that's a fake friend to a Pisces here that has been sleeping around with this individual's look like to me somebody that they're on and off with here with this King of Swords reverse and they don't know how to make up their mind about. That's exactly what I'm getting here. This one I resonate with everybody. I don't have to be a Pisces, but I'm I'm going to be kind of specific in this read because it does sound like this is not going to resonate with everybody. It could just be one or two people with the two here. So this could be one to two people that this could be resonate with. They're going to uncover real quick about who this fake friend is with this three of cups reverse and this queen of wands reverse. That's the individual right there. That has been cheating with somebody that they've been involved with. Smiling in their face. Gathering together to have a good old time. When you truly become aware. When you become aware of how energies are. Now not everybody out there is like this. But when you truly become aware. Are you, a, are you anything like a lone wolf? If you're a lone wolf like some of us are out there. They don't care to have friends or none of that. You're going to realize that the individuals that are smiling in your face, not all of them are going to do that to you, but there's one particular person right here that's, that someone's intuition keeps on picking up on. They could be getting gut hunches that this is what's occurring right here between them and somebody that they're involved with physically while having a spiritual connection with somebody else at a long distance is what I'm getting to. So in reality, this is working out perfectly, and this is this individual's karma for not trusting their intuition. But they could be seeing. They could be seeing uh, what's going on here. They definitely could be seeing. Sound like to me. I'm getting a sense that, that whoever this individual is in this King of Swords reverse energy lives with this individual on and off. There's a lingering energy here is what I'm getting. There's a lingering energy while somebody on the flip side has their life together. And this could be Taurus. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. So someone on the flip side has their life together. They're not codependent. They can make it on their own. And on the flip side of the situation, this individual's intuition keeps on telling them that they're the ones that's going to have to free themselves from this connection. They have been relentless at ignoring guidance to leave this individual alone that they have been physically involved with. This individual's been in this individual's house. Because that's what I'm getting to. 
Well, I mean, of course, it's an ex here. Somebody that they've been on and off with. The reason why I'm getting on and off because of this right here. On and off, on and off. But this is not legitimate here. This is not legit. But at the same time, I'm getting very heavily here. The intuitive radar of this person right here, it could be a Pisces, is picking up a Queen of Wands traverse with this Three of Cups traverse with the Six of Pentacles traverse here. This is going to link it directly to what they have been having hunches about, about some friend that they've been hanging out with here that they consider as a bestie. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting. Bestie my ass. They're going to figure that out. This, this is all somebody's calling me like, I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and apologize for me being real about it, but even if this is an intuitive person with gifts, it don't matter. This is their karma for ignoring their gifts here. With the judgment reversed, this is their karma for not listening to their gifted nature, to trust what their intuitive abilities have been telling them all along, to leave the situation alone, that they are trapping themselves. And with this eight of swords here, ain't nobody about to be playing no victim here. This the individual has been trapped in this situation. They have, they have the power to move because if you really look at the eight of swords, it's all about the mind. Like I said, bro, it's not about taking it easy on situations like this. It's about telling the truth and letting it be known without sugarcoating anything. Because this right here, I don't put up with energies like this. Everybody's going to be different, but when it comes to self-respect, someone's going to have to develop a lot more self-respect and self-love within themselves and learn to trust their abilities rather than ignore them. And they're going to either catch a water, could be a water sign too, or a cancer too. They can either catch a Cancer Scorpio Pisces female or a Queen of Wands reverse female that could be a Leo here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who have Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but with the symbolism, they can either catch, I feel like this is a specific message for one to two people, okay? But could resonate with more, could resonate with four of them out there, but this is a general collective reading. So this could be a Leo feminine, and we have a bunch of females here, and out of these people that this individual has been hanging out with, it's somebody that's false. Along with the individual that is an ex of theirs. These are false people here. Trying to keep somebody held back from their life purpose. This could be a reader. Don't have to be. Now, when I say reader, don't have to be a reader on a platform out there. They could just do this as an obby. Like, they could have an obby at doing that. You know how you have an obby at, let's say, uh, meditating. Like, you just sit there on your alone time and meditate with nobody around so somebody can have this, like, just because I say reader don't have to mean a platform. They could do this on their own time. But it could go both ways here, okay? It could go two different ways with the number two here. I'm going to tell you right now, for them ignoring their intuition, they're going to find out the hard way. They're going to find out the hard way. They're going to find out the hard way. For not listening. Something's telling me this individual is hard-headed. They don't want to listen with the judgment reverse. They could have something being revealed to them with this page of pentacles here. So somebody that may read cards here on there a long time or whatnot, or if they're somewhere where people could see them, it don't have to be. It could go two different ways here. They may not have as much experience. And they could have went to somebody or they could be looking at somebody that may have a lot more experience, a lot more wisdom when it comes to energies like this that knows how to read at an advanced level is what I'm giving with this page of Pentacles here. That could call the details out or something. I'm looking at something like somebody calling some form of details out. That could be clearing up some type of information to clarify that their intuition is on point with this higher priestess energy. Give me another card. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles goes. So this could be, so this could be a divination person that could operate their own business with the Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo. They could have Virgo in their chart. So this is a Queen of Pentacles here: fertility, prosperity, sensuality, responsibility, creativity, wealth, common sense, nurturance. Someone concerned with the welfare of others. A capable woman who is. I'm getting immediately when I see this right here. It's concern about other people. Concern about fake people. 
This person is allowing other people to take advantage of them. That's immediately what I'm getting. This individual is allowing other people to take advantage of their kind-hearted nature. And this is another thing that's keeping them stuck in a situation, but they have the power and ability to remove themselves from this. And I ain't trying to be rude or nothing like that, bro. I'm just straight to the point. Like, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm going to tell it like it is. Exactly what I see, detail for detail, word for I'm going to break it down and literally tell it like it is. Because that's the only way somebody will get the message.